Hello Techies! In our previous tutorials, we have learned how to work with run VB script and run JavaScript actions. Now, in this tutorial, we will learn how to work with run Python script action in Power Automate for desktop. Before that, we will learn what is Python. Python is one of the best supported scripting language in Power Automate for desktop. Python is considered a general purpose programming language, but it's favorable in arithmetic operations and metrics calculation. Let me drag and drop run Python script action onto the workspace. If you see run Python script action accepts a block of code as input, and in return, it will store the results of the implemented in the Python script output. Along with that, additionally, we can create the script error variables that stores the potential errors in the script error variables. All right. These are all the parameters what we have for the run Python script action. All right. If you see on my screen, we have already worked with run VB script and run JavaScript actions in our previous tutorials to work on the arithmetic operations or to work on the date calculations, right? By using these two actions, we have performed some of the actions in our previous tutorial. Now, by using run Python script, we can calculate arithmetic operations and metric calculations. All right. Before that, let me show you a small example over here. In our previous tutorial, we have used employees Excel over here, which we have used to calculate the average salary that is by using run VB script. And after that, to calculate date and time, we have used run JavaScript actions, right? Now I'm going to add one more column over here, like to calculate the metrics calculation or to perform arithmetic operations. I will give it as Python average salary. This is just, I'm going to give it as Python average salary as a column to calculate the average salary, which we have calculated in our previous tutorial by using VB script. Now over here, what we are going to do to calculate the average salary that I'm going to use Python as a scripting language over here. So that by using this Python scripting language that I can calculate the average salary that each and every employee has received. All right. Now let me drag and drop this run Python script action onto the workspace. If you observe by using this Python script, we can execute Python two script code and retrieves the output. All right. I'm going to give the Python script to run over here. That is, I'm going to give it as import re. And after that, I want to calculate the average salary. I'm going to store it in result itself. I'm going to give the code like that result equal to the each and every employee of every month's salary along with that additional hours of amount and average by 12, 12 months of salary, right? And after that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use to get the output as print, right? The output will be stored right now over here. You will get it in the result variable. The output, whatever we are going to get it in the result, the values will be stored in the variable that is Python script output. All right. If there are any errors that we got in the particular code, in that case, that the output will be stored in the script error. All right. Now let's click on save. Now, if you observe in the run Python script that we got, we can see the code over here that is result equal to. So we have given some code over here and then I'm going to get the output in the output variable that is Python script output. If there are any errors, then the errors will be stored in the script error. All right. Now, if you observe the output, whatever the output that you are going to get it, we have to write it in the particular row for each and every employee ID in the column of or that is or column. That is nothing but 18th column. How can we write into the Excel? That is by using write to Excel worksheet. Let me copy paste the action that is write to Excel worksheet after run Python script. And I'm going to modify this action over here. Now, what is the value to write? The output which we are going to get it after run Python script, right? 
what are the values we are going to get it in the output variable that is python script output we are going to write the data into the excel right and after that what is the column that i'm going to give it as 18 because of or column and then i'm going to save it now once again if you go through the flow over here i'm going to launch an excel that is employees excel and after that i'm going to get the first free column to calculate the number of rows and columns which are available in the particular excel sheet that is by using get first free column slash row from the excel worksheet and i'm going through the loop each and every row and i'm going to read the data by using read from excel worksheet and by using run vb script and run javascript these are the two scripts which we have seen earlier to calculate the arithmetic operations or to get the date calculations right or date conversions by using run vb script as well as run javascript now what we have done we are calculating the average salary of the employee by using run python script and then i'm going to write the data into the excel by using write to excel worksheet action all right now let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started and now if you see it has been launched an excel over here let me minimize this to make you understand side by side and there if you see right now we are in the run python script which it is trying to calculate the salary average salary there you can see and it has written in the or column that is column number 18 and row number one over here and the same way row number two respectively we are going to get the values for row number three and four respectively once the flow has executed successfully it will comes out of the loop and then the data will be saved inside the excel by using save excel action all right let me expand this excel once again there if you see the output is correct or not for which we have used for the run vb script as well as the run python script if you observe over here the average salary we got it as 13750 for the employee id one that is row number one that we have five three two four five four that we got the same salary and for the second employee also we got it 13916 and we have the floating points over here that dot six 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 values over here but we didn't receive that values when we have used python scripting there also if you see for the third row we got it the 14041 rupees that we got it before the float values right and also for the fourth employee that is 545454 that we got 13791 that is equivalent to 13791 rupees all right i hope you understand how to work with run python script action as part of this tutorial with the small example thank you for watching power automate tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a wonderful day